What's up HCMC Army and HCMC shareholders welcome back to this another video in this particular video I'm going to talk about an insane quarter HCMC had in Q1 2022 we'll strictly dive deeper into the revenue what HCMC has done in terms of Q1 2022 for the first time in the history they broke the five million dollar in sales and revenue for the quarter that we'll also look into I will be sharing my analysis based on what HCMC has done in the past in terms of revenue more importantly how their gross profit has changed and why HCMC can be profitable in 2022 in upcoming quarters and that makes me think that there is a strong potential that it's CMC can 10x from this price point that we are seeing if you want to be conservative you can think about this one price point and from that one price point it can go to one zero or maybe from two zero it can go to 0 0.0010 which is 5x return so if you are a long-term investor you should be super super excited because it's CMC has start showing some of the return on the investment in terms terms of the revenue and showing the sign that it can be profitable in the upcoming quarters if you're a short-term investor hopefully you will just get some great news out of this video as well so watch the full video this is not going to be the analysis for price prediction or anything else in this video rather this is the analysis as to how HCMC has done in Q1 2022 compared to Q4 2021 and Q1 2021 so without further delay let's jump into it but before that i just wanted to ask if you can hit that like button and subscribe to the channel that will be super super helpful we need 250 likes so we can share this information with more and more and more people there are 84,000 plus watchers on stock weights and every single time HCMC announces something we start seeing the message volume skyrocketed so let's help me let's let's you all help me share this research this analysis and this video with more and more people now if you think about what HCMC has done as I mentioned we'll be talking more about the revenue strictly into the historical numbers in terms of the revenue and sales so let's get into it for the first time HCMC sells of five million dollars in first quarter which is 46 percent year over year growth which is massive in my opinion because usually HCMC's revenue is between three and a 3.5 million dollars if you take a look right here for the historical quarters you should be able to see March 2021 3.47 million June 2022 3.39 September 3.27 and December 2021 we have seen 3.20 now remember q4 usually tends to be a higher revenue month however we have seen some pandemic situation as well as hcmc had some internal hiccups as well with the lawsuit and so on and so forth so we have seen deep into the revenue but come march take a look 5.05 .05 million in revenue which is 45.67 percent up in terms of the revenue which i personally am super excited about now gross margin of two million dollar for the quarter which is once again for the first time which is 32 percent higher year over year so there is a huge growth now what you want to consider is the net sales from the expectations for the three month period ended march 31st 2021 the amounted revenue was 5.05 million compared to 3.47 million now you want to keep an eye out so how does how does this work not only for q1 last year but for q4 2021 now if i show you this particular uh, numbers right here so the total sell at the march 31st quarter ending q1 2021 we are seeing 5.05 million dollar in revenue with the total gross profit of 1.972 million what i wanted to also show you is the 2021 q4 when our net sales or total sales were 3.1 or 3.2 million and our gross profit was 961 thousand dollars only now 
Now, when we did 5 million in revenue, so take a look, 961 was the gross profit. Right now, our gross profit in Q1 was 1.97 million, almost $2 million in gross profit. So what happened in that sense is we increased the gross profit from 961 to 1.97. So precisely $1 million more gross profit. Another thing that you want to notice is when our revenue was 3.1 million, our total operating expense was 3.4 million. Now think about it, when we had 3.1 million, our gross operating expense, our total operating expense was 3.4 million. And when our gross net sales were 5 million, our operating expense was 3.3 million. So let's take a look at this once again, 3.4 million versus this quarter, 3.3 million. So actually our total operating expense went down when our sales and revenue went up. This is due to some of the acquisitions that HCMC has recently made which is a licensing deal partnership in new york or the tie-up with atg pharma six pack solution expanding themselves so, so what they're trying to do is they are trying to reduce their ebita and the year end letter from the ceo also mentioned that what they want to do is they definitely grow, want to grow the revenue through the larger footprint in brick and mortar as well as online and precisely what they have been doing, we have seen that from 3.4, 3.5 million, they jumped up really, really quickly within a quarter to 5.05 million, which is $1.5 million revenue spike just in one quarter. So I can't imagine, I cannot imagine what the future brings in for HCMC. Second thing that they want to do is they want to increase their IP, but the most importantly, they want to also increase their profitability. Now that where you want to further look into what HCMC has done in Q1 2022. Gross profit margin or gross margin from the operation increased by 0.5 million for this three month ended period in March 31st, 2022, which is the direct comparison right here. So 5.05 million compared to March in 2021, 3.5 million. So this is an increase of 1.5 million. Now remember, total sales cost went high, but that is that was expected because of the inflation and so on and so forth. However, we do not see a huge number spike from 1.9 in terms of the gross profit from 1.4. Now you want to consider that what was the loss? So loss in this quarter was from operation was 1.35 million. But what I importantly wanted to show you is, so take a look at this number 2022, 1.35 was the loss and right here the loss from operation in 2021 q4 was 2.4 million now when they did less revenue the total loss from operation was pretty high 2.4 million when they, they did 5 million dollar in revenue the loss from operations went down so my point is hcmc does not really have to exponentially grow their workforce as the revenue spikes up which means if they have more and more and more revenue did that that, mean, that also means that this number will go lower and lower and lower which means HCMC will start getting into the profitability zone, which will be eventually at the end of the day, gain for the shareholders, for the company and for the investors. Now with that net loss from the continuing expenses is 1.317 million. So this is looking pretty stunning in my honest opinion, which means gross margin from the operation increase approximately half a million for the first three months period ended in March 31st, 2022, which is amounting to 1.97 million, close to $2 million compared to 1.49 or one and a half million dollars for the same period in 2021, which is a massive 32 year in 32% increase year over year in increase. Now net loss from the operation for the first three months period ended in March 31st, 2022, amounted for 1.32 million compared to 0.7 million for the same period last year. Now, it should be noted that half a million dollar in non-recurring expenses were incurred during the first three months. So that is one time expense. This 0.52 million or half a million dollar will be added as a profit in upcoming quarters 
if these numbers all almost remain the same, which means you can also expect that this half a million dollar, if you start adding up right here, HCMC goes into the zone of 0.7 million dollar loss from operations. So they will be well under one million dollar loss in terms of operation, which is super, super exciting, which is where the company wanted to go anyway. So what I'm trying to say is the company has been doing their due diligence and trying to deliver on what they expect that they will be doing in 2022. So you want to keep that in mind. So at this point, this should excite you if you're if you are a long, long term investor. I know if you are underwater for the short term, this also news will give you a little bit of uh, more um, strength and evidence in terms of what HCMC can do in upcoming future. And which is why I'm thinking that HCMC price point can skyrocket 5 to 10x and I wouldn't be super surprised. So take a look. Right now, their market cap is 67.9 million at the two price point. Now, if you cut this in half, which means 0 0.0001, which is the price point that you can get at CMC at the moment as well, you're looking into more or less 32 to $34 million market cap. Now, can it go to 340 million? Probably yes. Now, looking at their outstanding shares, we are looking at a massive outstanding shares and I wanted to talk about pros and cons both. So the con is basically the negative is they have huge number of outstanding shares and the company will work on their share structure as they have been always telling us about. But you want to remember that you don't really want to bet upon the share structure or restructuring of the share outstanding shares that they have at the moment. Their float is pretty high as well. 7.3 billion is a pretty massive float. But you don't want to forget that they have more than 84,000 watchers as well. So the spike in price point Point when the market will rebound could be there because there is a long, long uh, or strong, strong uh, community behind HCMC. Now, while I talk a ton more about HCMC, we also look into further many stocks. Take a look. We have been talking about WSFT and we have seen 10x gain in WSFT within just a couple of weeks and it literally skyrocketed from 7 cents to 52 cents and we are back down to 33 cents. So you want to subscribe to this, this channel, hit the like button if you haven't already. If you're still watching, this is super, super important to look into multiple stocks at the time when you do want to find out the information and you do want to act upon. This video is only for the entertainment purposes and I'm not a financial advisor. At the end of the day, these are penny stocks, super risky. It's risk versus reward. So do your own due diligence and do not invest more than two, five, seven percent, definitely less than 10% of your entire portfolio into the penny stock or OTC traded stock. Now let's talk about what their CEO says, Jeff Holman. Our first quarter 2022 financial and operational performance established a very strong start of the year with meaningful progress. And I 100% agree that there is a meaningful progress because if HCMC spiked through the revenue even more in Q2, Q3 and Q4 for 2022, that will be putting HCMC back into the profitability zone with our progress on strategic priorities, which we believe positions us well for the another year of top line growth. They also concluded that the team remains focused on driving growth and delivering sustainable improvements in profitability. We're committed to continue continue marking or making further investments that will position us to expand market share and capitalize on growth opportunities as we have created. And I 100% agree as to what HCMC is doing. You also want to think about what the HCMC balance sheet looks like. Here is what I'm sharing with you, the HCMC's balance sheet. Their current assets cash and cash equivalent is $20.5 million at the end of March 31st, 2022. What that means is HCMC is sitting on a super, super high 
cash situation, cash on hand at the moment. Now remember, their market cap is $67 million. Let me show you right here. Their market cap, $67.9 million, whereas company has a massive cash of $20.5 million. So compared to the size of the company, I do believe that cash, their cash equivalent is pretty strong. And where this cash came from, they offered the rights to their existing shareholders. That's how they have cash and cash equivalent with the total current asset of $23.5 million. Now, company is super, super looking closely into how they can expand the revenue or ramp up their revenue so that they don't really have to increase their EBITDA. So they're focusing a ton more on reducing their operational overheads. And that is why they're doing a ton more due diligence in licensing deals. We have seen that they have also have the opening for the Healthy Choice as well, uh, Center in Casbah Spa and Saloon located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. They also had the acquisitions on the upstate New York that we already know. They have the licensing agreement with the wellness center, which is going to be helping them reducing the operational overheads and still they can earn the licensing fee and they're not spending a penny in operations. Also, you want to remember that they have also acquired the EIR hydration IV therapy center and they are super doing their own due diligence to make sure that they increase their revenue. When they increase the revenue, their operational costs remains lower in terms of the percentage and that will bring them a ton more profit or gross or net profit which means they won't really have to spend too much money out of the cash that they're sitting on 20.5 million they are doing the tie-ups with Nuhi brand to expand themselves in Colorado market they're also tie up, tying up with ATG Pharma for the affiliation of six pack solution for QCUP technology in Canada now overall I'm super excited to see what HCMC brings in write down in the comment section below what do you think about HCMC, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and letting me know whether you like this video or not. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.